last time out. And Simon coming into the pits. And Simon has stalled in the pits. What's going on with Simon? He's just driven into the pits and stopped. And what's happening to Dan? Dan has stalled in the pits. What incredible action here. The leader has stalled with two laps to go. And the old guard are off in the biggest possible way. Martin had just taken the lead. This is dreadful. Oh my goodness. But we saw with that problem with Dan, his teammate Ollie has come through to take the victory. The Spring Aston Martin Championship. Welcome everyone to round four of the springtime Aston Martin Championship. And after the dramatic events of round three, questions are being asked about the drivers of the Old Guard Blue Team and whether they're actually still up to the job. In the championship standings, Dan has a slight lead over Chris at the top of the table with Gavin not far behind. In the team's championship, the Green Dolly 007 team again have a slight lead over the Capel team. So, the Old Guard Blue team, what happened at the end of the last round? Let's hear from Martin. Well, there's still harmony in the old guard. What no one saw is that there was a badger which went in front of both of us. We both took avoiding action and unfortunately hit each other in the process. Hello. Yes, I'm uh, phoning from the hospital again. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. Uh, but I just had to drive Martin in because uh, his car suffered uh, such extensive damage uh, in the crash. And I'm happy to report that after being, being uh, kept in a few days for treatment, for bruises and shock, the Badger is expected to make a full recovery. And Martin... Oh God, I've left him in the car park! I guess it's just an open secret that the old guard have picked up a new sponsor, um, Specsavers. They should have gone there years ago, but, you know, at least they're getting it now. Maybe they'll get some decent glasses and they'll be able to see where they're going and avoid some accidents. Well, I think it's pretty obvious that Simon's buying his seat in the um, old guard car. Can't be anything else for it. Why would there not be a rookie taking his place? So, some harsh words there from some of the drivers. Are they justified? Well, we'll soon find out. In the meantime, let's go down and see where the drivers are on the grid. Starting in pole position and returning from two races out is Brawley. Wally is very confident for this race and he won the first race of the season and starting from pole position he's in the best position to continue that winning streak. Simon, second place on the grid and he's desperate to end his run of four crashes in the last four races. Third on the grid is Martin and he's at the bottom of the championship standings at the moment so he is desperate for a good result today. Fourth it's Gavin. Now, Gavin is quite high up in the championship, going very well for the gas team. Just, uh, again, a bit more development going on. At least I'm finishing races this time and I'm not in last place. Fifth on the grid, it's Chris. And Chris, the Kapow driver, also going very well in the championship, as is Ollie, the world champion, who starts at the back having won the last race. So the scene is set. We have... 16 laps ahead of us. Who is up to the challenge? Let's find out. Here we are, seconds away from the start of round four of the spring Aston Martin Championship. And a slow start by Chris at the back, but they've all managed to get going. Simon has the lead for the old guard. And Simon really has a lot to prove in this race. But he's going about it the right way. So Simon has the lead. But Gavin is right behind him. Martin is third for the old guard. With Ollie closing up in fourth. The Kapow cars fifth and sixth at the moment. Ollie trying to go around the outside of Martin. But at the front, Simon leads. Gavin second. Martin third. Then it's Ollie. Then the Kapow cars at the back with Rolly in last place got no power i've got zero drive here. but there's a long way to go and simon would love this race to be shorter where he is at the moment 
at the front, but there is still 13 laps to go. So Simon with a handy little lead over Gavin, who goes through the pits, but he's okay. Then we wait. Martin third, Ollie in fourth. So Simon, whoa, Simon there. A little bit of a skid for someone, but Simon has the lead. And Gavin not really making any impression. Simon looking a little bit leery. And he goes safely past Rolly to lap him. So Rolly, he won the first race, but in this race, he doesn't really have the pace at the moment. Martin in a safe third place. He's pulled away from Ollie in fourth. Chris is in fifth. But the leader, Simon, still being tailed by Gavin. Now, 14.4 second lap for Simon, but a 14.1 for Gavin. Gavin is closing. The race is between those two. Martin gradually falling back. There is the lap rolly. There is Ollie in fourth place. But here's our leader lapping the second of the Kapow cars. The Kapow cars relatively slow in this race. Power surge for Simon there. This is worrying. But Simon, if he can get this victory, it will be well deserved. And he's pulling away now from Gavin. Gavin being very slow and steady in second place. So with seven laps to go, our leader goes in front of us there. And there's no change at the front. Gavin being held up by Chris. Can Gavin get past Chris? Yes, he can. That was close though. And Trolley is coming up to be lapped for the second time. Come on, Simon. All good still. Five laps to go. Simon Come on. Going very quickly with four laps to go. But goodness me, Gavin coming around very quickly and having an attack at the last minute. And he's come off. I'm now, out. can Martin I'm out. get through? It's ready to meet yes, and Gavin is off on the outside of the corner in front of us. As Simon goes through, and Simon snags Gavin. Now the race is anyone's. Now here comes Martin through. Martin has taken the lead. The two leaders are stuck against the barriers. And we've got a new leader now, which is Martin with two laps to go. Martin goes through into the lead. Ollie goes through in second place. The Kapow cars are now stuck behind Gavin. Gavin's the only one who is out, out of the rails there. So we're down to two cars and Martin is coming through on his last lap. And Martin wins a victory for the old guard. Ollie comes through in second place and they are the only two cars running at the end. Well, then we've got this traffic jam. Oh, yeah! Victory! Feels good! Never underestimate the old guard! But after a long race where the two protagonists didn't finish in the end, victory for Martin, second place for Ollie. Simon classified third in the end. He was uh, that far in the lead when the crash happened. Fourth was Chris. Gavin comes through in fifth place and a rather slow race by Wally finishes sixth for him. So how's the championship looking after four rounds? Well, Dan still retains the lead of the championship but is joined now by Chris at the top of the table. Gavin is third, Ollie jumps up to fourth, and Martin with that victory is now on 10 points in fifth place. In the team's championship, the Green Dolly 007 team is stretched out slightly with 27 points, the Kapow team on 23, and then the Old Guard and the Gas team are tying for third place. So that's it for our coverage of round four. Hope to see you all next time for round five. If you like our channel, please consider subscribing. The Spring Aston Martin Championship.